Let's move in to the Ballymore on the Wednesday. Now, we're recording this just as we're getting the, the declaration, so we might be a wee bit out here, but Imperi Pass leads the market at 2-1. to one. Hermes Allen, 11-4. to four. Gaelic Warrior, 4-1. to one. Fasil Vega is on in here at 9-1. to one. He won't go. Goodland, 5s. Champ Kylie, 7s. And 10-1 to one bar. Craig, I think this is one of the races of the week. Yeah, it is. Um, Imperi Passi. Very impressive visually, but he's been involved in slowly, slowly run races. He's shown a fine turn of foot to go and win those races. Uh, you know, if, if it was me and Bully Mullins is a, in a different league in terms of picking the right races for his horses, I'd like to see Pasel Vega in here and I'd like to see Impera Passe in the Supreme. Um, but, you know, that isn't going to happen now unless the, 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 the ground changes. But He's an exciting horse. Uh, he's a little bit of a hype horse because he, you know, he hasn't gone and posted any big figures. He hasn't gone and, and done anything that, you know, for me sets too high a standard that makes him unbeatable. Uh, he, he's exciting, but I think he's a little bit short in the market. The um, the stats boys will be out in force with Hermes Allen, Chalo Hurdle winners going back twenty years haven't uh, haven't won at the festival. Paul Nichols hasn't won this race and he's had the likes of Denman um, coming in here. But Hermes Allen is a he's a very, very good horse and, and that cello form is working out well. So I wouldn't be too quick to write off and, and there's at least one big start that gets bust every year. Shishkin a couple of years ago coming from the Sydney Banks. Um, I, think, I think there's a little bit more strength and depth to the race than the market suggests. The one I'd be interested in is Champ Keeley. I think he's tough. I think he's just the type you need for this. I think you need a horse with a little bit of experience. I like what he did off the off the front at, at Nace last time. The the low sun, obviously, we, we've seen quite a few hurdles admitted that day, but I don't think that particularly helped him because he's a fine jumper. Um, he travels well. He's got gears. He'd be the, the one that makes a, a little bit of each way appeal here to me, Champ Keeley. Champ Kelly for Craig. Mark, this is a an interesting race. You've got Willie Mullins has got three in the top set, uh, five in the betting. What do you think's the best? Can I what's can I reach it out to you in the market at the moment? Well, you find it strange in the market at the moment. And Perry Pass was 72, 4 to 1 before the preview circuit started. And now he's two to one. Now he's not done anything, but he's all of a sudden half in price just about for staying in his box, but because everyone's talking him up. I had a really good look at his form. Actually, his times weren't that bad in comparison to the other races on the cards uh, in each race that he's run. He's beaten absolutely nothing. I mean, Harmonia Maker, you know, that's not going to be winning uh, a Ballymore. The ground's going to be really important here because I love the way Goodland jumped at Leopardstown, but I think he'll want, you know, better ground. The one I keep looking at all the time and whose form has been a bit overlooked and it's surprising considering it's a JP horse that's in the pocket is the form of that win when he beat three-card Bragg is strong because Absolute Notions was further back in that race than he was in uh, Nathaniel Lacey. I think he's been overlooked a bit. I know I've said that the Bromhead's not in the best of form, but I like in the pocket each way in this race. And Pere Pass, you could have maybe gone for Hermes Allen. I don't know, he's too short. I mean, I've put up to Mures in the previous race because he's 12 to 1. If Hermes Allen was about, you know, 9 to 2, 5 to 1, I'd perhaps be looking there, but he's too short. So for me, in the pocket each way, about 12 to 1 would be my selection. Callum, there's a lot in here. That I want to get your thoughts on and Perry Pass obviously is a Moscow Flyer winner you've been very vocal about that Gaelic Warrior obviously is a right handed thing Goodland is one that interests me because obviously he's he's won that 2 mile 6 race but I don't think that 2 mile 6 race is particularly good for a Ballymore No and I did really like him that day um, at Leopardstown just because I think he had the speed and wrestling work in a three miles and that's how it panned out the speed horse won that and decent ground I think this is a lot tougher um, Imperi Passi I think should be running the supreme 100% I think it's a ridiculous decision 
Um, I think this jumping is his best asset. He's got speed. I think he'd, yeah, I think he'd hose up in the supreme. I'm less confident here. Um, there's more hurdles to jump. He's jumping maybe his asset. And I just think Willie Mullins has got it in his mind that he has got to split up Fasil Via and Imperi Passi in one way or another um, from the outset. And I think he might get them the wrong way around. You know, who, who has anyone to doubt Willie Mullins? You know, he, he, he gets it right more, more often than not. It's it's the actual it's the other um, Munir and Swede horse that I've really liked all season and nobody seems to be talking about him in the Mullins camp at all and it's Dart Raven. Um, I really like this horse. Um, you know you like Doctor Bravo for the Supreme. Dart Raven always beat him on the bridle mm. on on debut by three lengths. Um, Dart Raven's went open company and, and did himself justice for sure. And you know, he's, he's, he's got a, an outside chance of Supreme. Um, and Dart Raven he was good enough to be pitched in, but he was. Just in the heels of in the pocket, got in. He was outpaced. He shaped as if he needed to go up and trip. I think the bar would really suit him. Um, perplexed, he's been 25, 73 all season. And I've just been chipping away at him each way for this. Um, and the Supreme, just in case you go there. Um, I just think the lack of mention of him from the Mullins camp is just going to seem completely overlooked when his form, like when the pocket, who also like each way, um, is, is pretty strong. I think the two mile form here is, is looks good in relation to what um, Gaelic Warriors achieved um, and Perry Pass has achieved and Hermes LN. So um, I, I'd be looking at that that grade one form in behind LA to Tom and I, I quite like how in the pocket and Dart Raven shaped and I'd be, I'd be taking them each way in this. Two each with plays. I am coming round to the, th- the, the fact that Perry Pass could just be lined up for this. Similar to Sir Gerhard last year, where you could tell he was just the best horse in the race, and if he stayed, he would get ho- he would win. This horse has won a two mile four maiden hurdle, <coughs> then goes to the Moscow Flyer, looks brilliant in that, and I think he's the best here. I just really think it. I, I think two to one is a little bit short. I'm on it nine to. I put I put him up at nine to two. I wanted to put him up at nine to two actually, and completely slipped my mind because I didn't think he. Would, I thought he would he would stay that pace. I didn't think I didn't expect to gamble, but there's a lot of people in the the circuit saying this horse could be really good. I can't have Gaelic Warrior. I think that, I know they've, they've given him an operation. If you listen to Joe Chambers' podcast yesterday with Nick Luck, they don't fancy him in the slightest for this race. So that's very telling. Good land, I would, I would like. I just don't like that, the impact, that two mile six race. If that was a two mile four race like it was in previous years, I would think good land would win this. I just think in Perry Pass, he's probably coming round to be one of my best bets of the week. And I... I'm not going to give up on American Mike. I've tipped him up too many times for my, for my own good. But I just think at 33 to 1, if he can show anything like last year, he could be an interesting each way player. I wouldn't rule out something like that happening with American Mike because he's beat a horse I'm going to tip up later on in the Bartlett. It was very, very weird the, the time that Don Rising beat him and he was really, really off at over two miles. And I just think that they've, They've been, they've been minding him a wee bit recently. I think they'll go here because I, they obviously can't go to a handicap now. And I just think at 33 to 1, he's certainly worth a play each way. So I'm going to go for Imperi Pass to win and American Mike each way. Craig? Uh, Champ Kylie each way for Champ me. Champ Kylie each way. Mark? In the pocket each way. In the pocket each way. And Callum? Dart Raven and in the pocket each way. Mm-hmm.